there's one thing I gotta say when it comes to doing every day for six weeks. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time, ain't nobody got time for that. Alright, so uh, we are on video one, night one, clip one of Shining Star Soup testing out and reviewing how legit Peter Thomas Roth clinical skincare lashes to die for turbo conditioning lash enhancer really is. I have no makeup. I used eye makeup remover for all the eye makeup I had on my face, so let's just zoom in on my lashes. Alright, so according to the directions that I could find, you are supposed to use the tip on your upper eyelash lid and then treat the wand like, uh, like mascara, I guess. And you leave this on overnight. Um, okay, let's uh, let's do this. I, I still don't think that there's six weeks worth of product in there, at least not for how many nights I'm going to be doing this. Like I said, I will do this nightly until I run out of product and there's none left. And I, I will be surprised if I make it to week three. Again, here is the little wand. And as you can see, there's the little tip. Okay, guys. Let's do the thing. Oh, I'm so nervous about this. I'm starting to really regret this. Oh, uh, sure. I don't... To tell you the truth, I don't like this at all. I'm just dabbing as close to the lash line as possible. And now I... I feel like I'm going to go blind. <laughs> Wouldn't that suck? Alright. Now, I'm doing the right side. Not bad. Here we're going zooming in. This is night one that I'm wearing this. I probably won't do an update every night. I will be doing an update tomorrow and you'll see the whole collab of the night, how many how many nights I, I film or whatever. You'll see the week one video uploaded on while well, you're watching this today, which is Sunday. And part one, or this video that I'm doing right now, was filmed on Tuesday. I'm giving this a fair shot and um, we'll see how it goes. A little intimidating at first, but once you get the the stuff in it's just like applying mascara so there you go all right um you will see a cut in the video and when that video shows you'll know what uh what night it is or morning or whatever i decide to do okay this is a little bit of an update before i actually go to bed and film my morning little review for tomorrow I am a bit nervous um, because when I was editing the video and doing all my little cut clips and stuff like that, uh, I'm still on December 10th right now, uh, part of the noise in the background, I got laundry going, uh, it's very sticky and, and it feels thick, like it feels like I have fake eyelashes on. And I'm, I'm not 100% certain I'm confident in going to bed and to sleep, like, with this stuff on my eyes. I am going to, uh, just for the sake of the review, and because I'm really curious how it feels in the morning, if it washes off nicely. Hopefully I, I don't wake up with um, sleep in my eyes. 
Have you ever woken up where your eyes are like stuck together? I'm, I'm really hoping that doesn't happen and I'm really anxious right now as I'm gearing up to go to bed about how I'm going to wake up in the morning. But you know what? This is an honest review. I'm giving this a fair chance. So please don't uh, seal my eyes shut when I wake up in the morning. That's all I'm hoping for. Okay, another cut in the video and the next time you see me in this video and the next clip will be the day after December 11th. After my first night trying the, the um, uh, turbo conditioning la lash enhancer. Hmm. All right, so it is uh, day two, the morning after the first night I put on the lash conditioner. <laughs> um, you might have seen, well obviously you saw the clip before, right before I went to bed, how leery I was and how worried I was that I would wake up with my eyelids glued shut. Fortunately, that did not happen. Um, by the time I woke up, it wasn't quite as thick and sticky. However, I didn't really notice too much of not like a huge difference in my eyelashes. My eyelashes are actually pretty light. They aren't beautiful and black and easy to see. Like even on my close-up shots, when I do my zoom-ins, um, they aren't really that, what's the word I'm looking for, whatever that word is. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> fun little fact about me is that um, I've, I had a, have a, be a bit of a speech impediment where it's very hard for me to say certain words. <laughs> so I was in speech therapy for the first a uh, few, a couple years, I think I was in speech therapy and then, yeah, I saw a speech therapist and I just can't form some words with my mouth. That's why I can never read, do books on tape. Anyway, um, it's only day one, so I, I can't give this obviously a fair shot. I just came on to say that I'm happy that my eyes weren't glued shut in the morning. Um, but, but we'll see, we'll see what, uh, what happens as I keep using this every night. So the next cut in the video that you see, um, will either be a, a week summary or will just be if anything interesting happens and I need to make note of something. I do feel though that my eyelids are a bit drier. They are drier. So I don't know what to tell you. Okay, moving on to whatever clip's gonna be next. So, I was going to give a six week full review on this, but there is one thing I gotta say when it comes to doing every day for six weeks. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody got, got time, time. Ain't nobody got ain't time for that. Now that song in that clip should not be copyrighted, <laughs> I hope, because um, <laughs> if it is, obviously I'm going to be getting a community strike and all that fun stuff, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, free reign for that um, song that constantly gets stuck in my head. Alright, so with that out of the way, the thing is about this product, the uh, Peter Thomas Roth Clinical Skin Care Lashes to Die For Turbo Conditioning Lash Enhancer, besides it being a mouthful, I 100% do not think it's worth a $112 price point. This stuff was like invisible mascara or clear mascara, really, when it came right down to it. It, uh, it was sticky, it was tacky, it weighed the eyelashes down. Um, it showed a bit of a, a difference. Lashes appeared to have more volume, appeared longer for about, I don't know, a, a, few, a few minutes. Did I give this, um, I gave this the college try. I did it every night, uh, starting on Tuesday and Saturday was the last day. You are seeing this video on Sunday. 
Um, the point is, this isn't going to do anything for you, in my opinion, that mascara won't. Like, it just, whatever the hype is, it, it sounds gimmicky, and the conclusion, in my personal opinion, that I came to is that, yeah, it, it kind of is gimmicky. I didn't see... I mean, and, and this product doesn't claim. It doesn't claim that it'll make your eyelashes more voluminous or lengthy or uh, anything like that. It just says that it will appear to. And like I mentioned <laughs> in my uh, preview video, it's like Photoshop for your eyes. But again, I have really light eyelashes. So even when I put this uh, stuff on and I've been using it, um, they only appear close up. Like, you, you can't tell from far away, you know, with fake eyelashes or mascara. Somebody looks at you, they can tell. You're wearing mascara, you must have fake eyelashes, right? This is not going to... It doesn't perform. Uh, to be honest with you, again, everything, my personal opinion, I don't want to get nailed for uh, what, right from the start, is my opinion. So, um, with this uh, conditioning lash enhancer, ain't nobody got time for this. Ain't nobody got $112 to throw away on this. Sure, Peter Thomas Roth is a popular brand, but this one? <laughs> I'm not doing a six-week review on it. It's a waste of time. It just did not make my lashes comfortable at all. So, a, a fail. A, definitely a failed product for me. I personally would not recommend going out and spending $112. I wouldn't even recommend spending $10 on this product. It's just, you're buying the name. <laughs> at this point, you are buying the name. All right. That's going to conclude my uh, Shiny Star Soup's Honest 6X1 week review on this Lash Conditioning Enhancer. Alright all you Shiny Stars, have a Shiny Star Day and keep being Shining Stars. Bye!